Hey guys, Sam from Memphis Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. So if you are new here, every Thursday on Memphis Makes we have a series of episodes which I will link all previous ones down in the description box. But this series is known as... Tile of the Week! Thursday. And Mike sings it differently every week. So, <laughs> <laughs> Tile of the Week, you say. What is this? Well, backlash July, I was gifted this book in Happy Mail. It is 100 Crochet Tiles, edited by Sarah Callard. Tiles designed by numerous different designers, some of which are okay, some of which we really are not fans of. Um, and when I opened this Happy Mail, I verbally made the statement, I'm going to make every single tile one a week until it's done. Getting so swept up with the excitement of having a wonderful book and not realising that 100 tiles is going to take the best part of two years. So, yeah, <laughs> this is where we are. But we are on week 42, so we are ploughing along, guys. Like I said, there are lots of previous episodes, which I will link the playlist for down below. And we have a lot of our lovely Yarny friends um, and subscribers to our channel who are joining along with us. It was never meant as a crochet along. It just naturally happened that way because a lot of people saw what we were doing and they either took pity on us and wanted to support us or they just thought it was a cool concept and jumped on board. Now I'm not going to list all the lovely people that are joining in because I always forget somebody not on purpose just because my brain ain't that great. Um, so if you want to know who else is joining along in the YouTube search bar, if you put hashtag tile of the week Thursday, everybody who has used that hashtag will pop up and you will have even more videos and community tab posts to look at. Because like I said, this is week 42 and there has to be at least five people I can think of who is joining in. So that is a lot of videos. Anyway, please don't forget to check out my community tab after you've watched this video because you will see the latest delightful tile made by the wonderful Josephine. Josephine does not have content, but she is a lovely Yarny friend of ours who supports our channel and is joining along with us behind the scenes. She sends me a picture of her tile every week and I put it on my community tab for you guys to appreciate how talented and wonderful she is. So go over and uh, give us some love and tell her how pretty her work is. That would be great. Anyway, so that's the book. We are not sponsored or affiliated. Most people get their copies off of Amazon, but there are other good bookstores that supply this book. Um, most people recommend that you get it spiral bound because the pages fall out. It's not a very well put together book or take a leaf out of somebody else's book, pardon the pun, and get the Kindle version, and then you don't have any pages to deal with at all. You literally just flick your screen. So either get the book or get it on Kindle, or just happily watch our escapades doing this, whichever takes your fancy. Like I said, it is not a crochet along, but jump on board if you wish, no pressure, or just watch the rest of us pull our hair out every week. It's quite entertaining. Anyway, this week, week 42, was Lotus Blossom and the designer was Katie Moore. Our least liked designer is Hattie Risdale and Katie Moore is right underneath Hattie Risdale. So. Now, she recommends five colours and to use a DK weight, which we both did, because the majority of our scraps are either DK, which is a lightweight three, or Aran, which is a worsted four. Um, so we just dug in our scrap bin for our DK colours and we both used the recommended size hook of a 4mm and we both used a clover. So we followed the destructions, as my kids call it. Um, there were a few special stitches in this one. We had double crochet bobbles, front post bobbles and we had a few picots in the mix as well there. Um, she did ask us to join with standing stitches um and join the round with the invisible join now for the first sort of six seven rounds i did do the invisible join uh but we did do this over the course of two evenings we did it on sunday night and monday night the second half 
I um I didn't bother with the invisible join I just slip joined because it's so much quicker guys and to be perfectly honest although an invisible join does make things a little neater and professional looking for us these tiles serve no purpose other than regular content for you guys to watch they are literally just sitting in a bag hopefully they will be used one day but right now there is no end goal so I didn't feel the need to stress myself out with an invisible join when I could just slip stitch join so my bad I broke the rules but and I broke the rules twice. Yeah. Because I never do standing stitches. No. He don't like them. I don't like them. He, don't, uh, he uh, really that's... don't like them. I did it on one round where the slip stitch just was not happening. Mm. So I did the standing single. Standing single is the easiest of the standing stitches though. Mm. When you get to standing doubles and yeah. things, things get a little bit more tricky and a little bit more... Urgh, and... Mike ain't got time for that, so he and doesn't do it. Like Mantha said, I didn't do the invisible join on the second half. No, we just needed to get it done because it had already taken up two of our crochet evenings mm. worth of crochet time. Um, so we just did it the quick way, call it the cheats way, call us rule breakers. <clears throat> we don't mind because at least we yeah. did it. Um, this was 14 rounds, so it is one of the larger, more intricate tiles within this book. Um, there wasn't anything really super complex, but the Sunday, um, no, the first round of Monday night, <laughs> round eight when we were working on the wrong side i did absolutely fine but then when we got to round nine and i was supposed to be getting it on the right side again and i was supposed to be going to the left of something um was it round nine when we were going to the left no we made the things in round nine it was round ten <laughs> <laughs> go to the left of any round nine petal I can't be copyrighted for that because you need to know how to make the petal to begin with. In this case, the petal's already been made and you don't know how. Go to the left of it. It clearly says it. I looked at the charts because you get both the written pattern and the charts. And I'm looking at the arrow of where it tells me to put that starting stitch of the round. And not only is Mantha always going to the right, she still has the piece the wrong way around. <laughs> and I was getting so super frustrated because I'm like my stitch count isn't adding up I'm not going behind the petal when it's telling me to go behind the petal because I'm nowhere near the bloody petal and that's because I was on the wrong side of the work and I was going to the right of it not the left I was having a bit of a mare I was obviously having a bit of a brain block now that is nothing to do with the pattern or the diagram that is totally mantha because there is a few little health issues going on with me at the moment. And clearly, my brain weren't firing on all cylinders. He was sat there like, she'll figure it out in a minute. She'll get it right in a minute. Um, and Mike did have a bit of a boo-boo on one of the rounds. Are you yeah. going to fill him in? <laughs> so we had that problem. And then one of the rounds, I was tying in my ends. And I snipped a little too much. And I had to pull it all out and do it again. Yeah, when snipping off the end, he actually snipped one of his stitches. And it so looked the whole fine. thing unraveled. It looked absolutely fine until I started putting in the next round, and then it all went... <laughs> so I was like... <laughs> so I put it down, waited for Mike to redo that round, and then I was having my little brain block on where I was putting yeah, these it was bloody the stitches. Before, wasn't it? Yeah, brilliant. it was just <laughs> so he had his little mini meltdown, then I had my little mini meltdown. But again, it's not actually Katie Moore's fault this no. time. It's not the pattern or the chart. It was just us. And to be honest, Mike has been working so hard lately and doing lots of early starts and going out of town for training and all sorts of things to do with his job. Um, and I've got health issues going on. So between us, we were a right old pair and we were just messing it up left, right and centre. So it was a bit adventurous this time, but it was of all our own doing. So it wasn't good. it wasn't too bad. And the first half, we have we actually looked at each other and went, this one ain't too bad. I'm quite enjoying it. But then the second night, the second half, it was it just all went wrong. <laughs> it just literally all went to the dogs, guys. So, but 
we battled through, we figured it out, and we got it done. So, would you like to see ours? I always let Mike show first. Are you ready? Of course they are. That's what they're here for. There it is. Isn't it parody? It's uh, lots of girly colours. This colour here is looking very blue on camera, but it's not. It is a very, very turquoisey green, like 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 minty and i green. really really like this goldy color the bronzy the bronzy color that was a scrap it's from in your the middle butterfly as well. yeah that's a scrap from the butterfly you yes. use in to make christina's but wrap. it just centers those colors perfectly i really really like mike's color combination this week normally i hate mike's color combination because he just <clears throat> dives grabs goes with it but he pulled it together this week, and I actually prefer his colour combo to mine. I still like yours, though. But Mike and I both agreed that the little bronziness, because I put bronze in mine as well, gives it almost a regal touch. Like, it makes mm -hmm. it seem really posh and luxurious. Yeah. Like, it's meant to be for a king or something. Not that our work is amazing to give to the king, but... The colours would mm. be a regal palette, in my opinion. So for me, if I was going to do this again, which I'm not, <laughs> but if I was, I would change the blue and the red. I would swap those two colours around. But here is mine. There is bronze, peach, red, blue and white. So next time, I would probably make this flower red and this frame blue but that is just my preference but i kind of did a shove me hand in the bucket and grab this time and i didn't think it did, it's too bad i mean it's nice enough it's just not as pretty as mike's and obviously if you blocked it they would be much oh. <laughs> they would be much more uniform and straight they wouldn't be quite so weebly wobbly on the sides but there is the 3D element. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it is a nice enough tile. They are pretty. And they are done. So week 42 in the bag. Now. With relatively small amounts of stress. <laughs> relatively. <laughs> right. There was a couple of moments. I yeah, thought. but it was, like I said, it was us not the pattern this time <laughs> right so week 43 is called when flowers go blue oh i didn't even show you what it was supposed to look like before we showed ours so for example that's oh i can't do this my camera skills are shocking that's theirs and that's mine i am showing you all of the pattern I'm so gonna get a copyright other side towards me <laughs> uh, and there's Mike's. So we didn't do too bad, guys, right? I think we did pretty good. Anyway, see, my brain's not working. I'm not even doing the layout of these episodes correctly. So, week 43 will be when flowers go blue. And the designer is Anna Marie Sorez, and she has appeared several times previously. She wants us to use four colours, again, in a DK or a lightweight three. She wants us to use a 3.5 millimetre hook. I'm probably going to stick to the four. I'm quite comfortable with my four, so is Mike. Um, and it looks a little something like this. So this is a larger tile again, guys. This one... Oh, I'm going to have to rip out another page of my book. Don't be the book police saying, don't butcher that book. It's been butchered for a long time. And it did it to itself. Now I'm just helping. helping it along because it's just annoying. Okay, so Echo can go back in. Lotus Blossom can go back in. But we need this one. 61, 62, 63. So when flowers go blue, it's 17 rounds. Uh, yeah. 17 and they rounds. Look, it looks relatively flat, so it's just going to be round on top of round. They are very 
I would say they are very basic stitch heavy with a few little bobbles and things chucked in but there's just a lot of rounds because they do the, the thick colour work can you see is there really any need for like five rounds of the baby blue I mean it was up to the designer at the end of the day um, but yes yeah, 17 rounds so this one could be a two-nighter as well whoa I wish I hadn't turned that page uh, week 44 looks quite a mahusive one as well we'll just let me see <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even the completed one that was just the chart there you go 20 rounds in week 44 oh my god they're getting massive they are getting massive but then the week oh after god, that it's nine that. yeah but the week after that is nine yes, rounds but look at all those bobbles yes bobbles babe you are going to learn to hate bobbles as much as i do because they look pretty they give lovely texture but oh mg time consuming not a fan of puffs still bubbles. not as bad as the bead yeah well still not a fan of puffs bubbles or popcorns i can do them they popcorns are easy to do i just find them irritating but yes so join us back next week for that one and uh we'll let you know how we go um it is probably just going to be me again for crochet catch up tomorrow guys uh, Mike has had another very busy work, uh, week at work. Um, he may be able to bust out a little bit when we stop filming this. Is it going to be enough to show? Probably not. No. So although he said last week he hopes to be back this week, it has just been so full on, hasn't it, at work. Two weeks have been absolutely manic. So I did real see, life. I actually got it out last night. I didn't get it out of the bag. There's been a couple of evenings where the bag has crept up next to you on the sofa, yeah. but it's never been opened. No, because I just got sucked into a rabbit hole of YouTube. Anyway, <laughs> regardless, <laughs> real life work and paying bills has to come first. So I'm sure we can all let him off. But join me for crochet catch up tomorrow because this whole time you've been looking at me on this screen and you might have been going, is she wearing crochet? Has she finished the bob top? Join me tomorrow to find out. Just saying. They've already found out now. <laughs> they know, yeah, but I've shown the panels, haven't I? So they know what it is. Uh, but you can't see what's below the table. Just saying. I could just be wearing a little crop top here for all you know. But anyway, join me tomorrow for all the crochet that I've managed to get done this week. Although, to be fair, guys, you've seen most of it. <laughs> so it might be a very short episode. Who knows? Anyway, we love you all so very much. Thank you for joining us today on this lovely Thursday. I hope your Friday um, and the weekend goes well. I will see you tomorrow for Crochet Catch Up. We will be going live as normal on Saturday. So please just please do join us then. Um, and before the live on Saturday, there will be a video coming out. And that is an interesting video as well. And that is all I'm going to say. It is very exciting. I am looking forward to it so, so much. And I hope you guys click on and see what I am about to start. And I will leave it there. Leave it on a cliffhanger. Ooh. Anyway, guys, we'll let you get going. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your love and support. Check out Josephine's tile on my uh, community tab. I would really, really appreciate it. So, until we see you next time, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones. Don't do what I do and get some good quality crafting time in. <laughs> we will see you in the next one. Or around the YouTube stream. Bye, guys. Love you Bye. loads.